Hey everybody, welcome to the shop for this Sunday morning episode how to build a 105 Thunder Chief 10 minutes at a time. Alright everybody, I got my wings <laughs> all vacuum vacuum trimmed up and they came out good. These are some of the nicest ones yet, man. They just came out real good. But I had to stay up and uh, trim them things. It's about about 1.30 before I finally went to bed. Uh, that one over there took so long. I was scared to leave that electric blanket on there too long. They wanted it set up hard because I fought cutting, trimming, what was it, one of them elevators? I let it set too long. <laughs> so I didn't let the electric blanket sit on there very long and uh, kinda about midnight I think it was ready. But now, today, I'm going to put my wood in there. Which I already have cut. Remember from my uh, together and cut them out at the same time. Let me use three. Yep, same thing there. I gotta cut all these holes. Well, we know where I'm gonna be today. Right here in the shop. <laughs> I'm gonna get this way put together today. Okay, I think that's it. This is all my weight parts. But uh, I did get some other stuff done. Got all the body, body work done on my vertical stab while I was waiting for this stuff to set up last night. It's looking good, man. That's ready to paint right there. And uh, what else did I do? Oh, got my main spar pretty much ready for my bulkhead. I uh, glued it. I got this JB welded in to that wood, okay? I'm going to come in here from the back and uh, go like in each of these corners, drill, tap, put me a, a quarter 20 bolt in there and hope to help hold that to the wood. But I put me some deals in there to help me uh, align my main spar. See, my main spar is only going to stick in there that far. It would have been hard to line them things up. I just got these JB welded on there for now. Okay, they were just uh, chunks of aluminum I got from Dad and it fits in there perfect. It's not a channel, it's just chunks of aluminum to help line up them spars. And then once I get that wing where I want it, I'll, I got the holes in the wing on the same pattern I'm going to use on all the wings. And I can mark them, drill them, tap them, bam, wings be done. But I'm going to bolt these on there also. 
but I want to make sure everything lines up right. So I'm just going to leave it like this. I can put this bulkhead in there. Then I can put my spar in. Then I can C-clamp them. You know, like I've been doing. And make sure everything's the way I want it. Then I'll pull it back out and I'll drill and tap them. Put me some bolts in there. And that'll also help hold that wing. But, you know, them three bolts, three quarter inch bolts will not shear. Okay. Them aren't going to shear. And this will just kind of help everything. Didn't add no weight. Good to go. You know, but the, you know, the only thing would be, you know, if the bolts didn't, wasn't tight, you know, this might tend to wobble without them, but we just got to make sure that that don't happen. Uh, you know, keep eye on them bolts. Make sure they stay tight. They're going to be right there, easy to get to, so that won't be hard. But I think that's a good idea right there we tried Paul made a piece of channel first and you know that, that channel with everything being so tight it just uh, you know it was didn't want to slide in there very good I don't know by the time we bent it and everything because it's got to have a bend in it this won't affect it like that you know. bam good to go but that's my idea on that. Bob O'Neill and gone wrong. <laughs> that's a show for you right there. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. <clears throat> Alright. Time to get serious again. Alright, we got wing glue together today. Got no time to be goofing off and all over. Dave's not here. <laughs> What's flashing? Why is that flashing? Oh, I bet I better delete some movies. I think my camera's getting full. There's a bunch of videos on there I need to delete. Okay, I'm just going to take, uh, screw these together. I got some bolts or some screws. That'll let me screw them together without the bolt sticking out. The perfect size. Well, my table still in perfect shape. Well, uh, then after I'm done with this mess, I'll just change that paper. Bam! Be all purdy again. Okay. Now. These little Allen bolts right here. They're actually servo screws, I think. I love these little things. You see, it won't stick all the way through two pieces a quarter. Looks like that drill bit's too big, too. Got an extra hole in that one. I've seen them square hole cutters. They got one of them at Harbor Freight. Uh, cutting them deals out. 